Happy days. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our next episode of From Struggle Strength Podcast with me, Dave Curtis. And me, Mike Bateson. And we have the legend that is Mr. John Fenley, a.k.a. Fenners. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank my you. pleasure. My pleasure, guys. What Happy took you days. so long? Happy days. Can't wait to get into the episode, mate. Uh, obviously, as you can see, this is brand new for us. <laughs> the first time you probably would have seen our faces as well. Um, so you can put sort of a, a, a voice to a voice to the face now, or a face to the voice the other way. Or you can affirm that we have got a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So as we do on every episode, um, we start off with a bit of a check-in. So how the hell are you, Michael? What have you been up to this week? Um, this week, Dave, do you know what? Melchester always we lost, we lost last night, so that was a bit of a gutter. Um, we were two, we were two nil up. I came on and we lost four two. So well, I'm not blaming myself because I wasn't, I wasn't in centre back. I was kind of just floating. But yeah, so but I'm okay. Thanks, Mike plays seven aside. <laughs> <laughs> right for Melchester. <laughs> anyway, I, 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 I shout them out every week. It's just I don't know. I can't help it. That's the thing. Um, yeah. So I um, yeah. So I'm okay, Dave. I'm good. I'm good. At, I've got new glasses on. Oh, yeah. Got the new readers. £1,700. New readers. Oh, bloody 600 quid. Yeah. I felt <laughs> sick. I felt sick. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I know. And yeah, they don't make me look any younger. They're these. These. Yeah. Three, three pairs, 16 quid. <laughs> oh, where's them from? Are they varies. I'll send you the link. No, they're not varies, unfortunately. I couldn't I couldn't get on with very, very four calls. I kept thinking I was falling down the stairs. Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it, at first? Yeah. It's like, just got... odd, like. I got in my car before and I, I, I just got them on the, because of the new one. And everything just looked angular. I'm like, I'm like, what? This is weird. <laughs> yeah. So I've, I've got a lot of cheap pairs and I haven't just dotted around the house because, you know, you, you pick them up and put them on because I just need them for, for this sort of stuff and reading and just put them down and can't <laughs> find them. So I've got and I've got about five pairs just in different rooms. Probably no good for me vision at all, but it's no. better than spending them. Um, 600 quid on, yeah. oh, on no. there. but it's not better and no, obviously they're great and they're going to be much better for you in the long run um, well, like, but they, they, they changed to sunnies <laughs> how do they? yeah they changed to sunnies and they've got a blue tint so everything looks beautiful and colourful reactor like rapides that's it Like it's like yeah. rose tinted glasses but they're blue <laughs> yeah they're nice they're nice thank you um, so yeah, I uh, but aside from that, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm yeah, family's good, I'm good, everything's good. Um yeah. Well, yeah, just all sorts going on in life in general. But I'm happy because I'm sat here now used to legend, so it's all good in the hood. Um but yeah, thank you. How are you, Dave? Nice one, mate. Oh no, sorry, Fenny. My bad. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no, sorry, okay. I messed up. I messed up. Fenny, yeah. how are you? How are you? Fenny? <laughs> oh, I thought I was good. I like the way you, I like the way you went. You went across the day with that. I thought that was nice. Oh. But I'm I'm great actually. I am really good. I'm energy levels have been up through the the, the 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 ceiling recently, which has been great. Getting loads of stuff done. I've had some stuff done with the house and had some carpets put in. So there's been a lot of shifting and moving and stuff around and tidying which I find quite although I never want to do it when I actually get around to doing it I, I find it quite therapeutic so it's good for me yeah just good to sort out get to the radio up listen to the radio and move stuff around I don't finish jobs very well though that's that's yeah. a problem I, I I do 95% of the job and then I think I'll just I'm gonna leave and then the week later that all the stuff that I'd done it just still needs some stuff just needs shifting, so I'm keeping my voice down because no, <laughs> I, don't want, I don't want to alert certain people to uh, to my <laughs> lack of um, <laughs> my lack of efficiency. But no, I'm good. Yeah, good, really oh, good. Yeah, that. I'm uh, in a in a in a good spot. Oh, good, mate. That's amazing to hear. That's amazing to hear. Um, how are you, Dave? <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we should. Yeah. How are you, Dave? Right, okay. Still two It's all about Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am. I am amazing. Yeah, I'm amazing. Obviously, everything's going well. Work's going well. My little girl, obviously, is amazing as always. You know, with my partner, family, all is great. And um, we did. Yeah, we got beat on the weekend. I I play for the team called the Warner Fenners. So up the Warner, as I always say. And I, I normally add in a swear word, but no swearing tonight. Um, I said, so, oh. so is is that eleven aside? Is it? 
I play eleven aside yet, Mike. Right, okay. <laughs> hey, I, I'm forty two, Ferris. You yeah. Know, I'm I'm retired. I'm retired athlete. Right. <laughs> yeah, like, how old? I, how old? How old are you, Dave? I'm twenty. Yeah, twenty. Thirty seven. Thirty eight. Yeah. 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 See, I, I mean, I couldn't do seven. Normally, what is it? What, I'm not going to say what the other week is because that'll spoil the the uh, the um because <laughs> we don't know when it's going to go out, do we? Um, <laughs> uh, I, I I packed in playing seven aside about two years ago. Now, I packed in playing eleven aside about fifteen years ago. But I'm a lot older than you lads. Much older than you lads. Um, I'm fifty four. Tell you what, you're looking well, yeah. you're looking well, you're looking well, you're looking beautiful. Filters, filters, <laughs> you know it is. <laughs> we, hey, we had some avatar ones on before, like, <laughs> like cow faces and I were class. Yeah. You were, you yeah. <laughs> you were <laughs> testing it all out earlier on. But, uh, yeah, um, but on the whole, I am absolutely amazing. And I'm so happy we have got this man with us yes. this evening. It's been, uh, it's been not a long time coming, but, you know, I, I think... Yeah. Because we're, you know, obviously geographically and stuff like that, so we made up that we were able to. It's overdue, isn't it? It's an yeah. overdue conversation. Yeah, and obviously we get into, you know, where we met and stuff like that, and where it all where it all stemmed from as we get in. So, um, as I mentioned before, you know, we start from the very beginning. So, where did you come from? Where did you grow up? What did you get up to? All that. So I am from Scarborough in North Yorkshire. Uh, geographically, England's largest county um so grew up grew up in a little village outside scarborough called east Dayton. uh i went to raincliffe school which was just um as a Aiton school and then raincliffe school secondary school did everything that most most young lads do play football play football play football um into you know clothes, music, and stuff at an early age. Um, Who's your team, to... Venice? Liverpool. Oh yeah, Liverpool fan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm Liverpool. I am a Liverpool support. I mean, I used to go and watch Scarborough when they were a non-league team. They used to play in uh, it was the Alliance Premier League when I used to go and watch them. If you played for your school team, if you played three times for your school team, you got a, a free free season ticket. Oh wow! So I've still got. I've still got the season tickets. Actually, they're they're just little booklets. But they they used to play against teams like um, Northwich, Altrincham. Um, God, I'm trying to think of some of the teams now. But there's loads of loads of great names on on that sheet. And it was a great little ground. Actually, it was before the you, you'll you'll remember it is the McCain Stadium, the Theatre of Chips. You've probably heard, heard of that. Um, <laughs> I gave I gave Cammy I gave Cammy that and he and I think he nicked it off me and he got the credit for calling it a theatre of chips. <laughs> uh, but you'd have to ask him about that. Uh, should get him on actually. Should get him on. You've probably had him on actually, but you should get him on. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was, uh, but it was called the Athletic Ground when I was a kid, and it was it was they had, they had amazing floodlights. I always remember you know, for a, for a non-league side they had these amazing floodlights, and these two lads that I knew who were older than me, they used to take me. They used to take me to the to the home games on a on a Saturday, and then I'd get you get the bus back picked up back and there. But yeah, that but I I didn't go. You know, I was I was, I was kind of going on my own really. Um, and I used to um, I, I, I was I played football, but pretty you know, so I was I was always I always wanted to play football. So going away wasn't of interest to me then as as a kid growing up. And then in about seventy seven, I I um, discovered Liverpool via the TV. As a, as a, as a, you know, back then, as you know, as you'll know, there wasn't a, a lot of football on telly, so you had to get, you know, you get it where you could. You used to listen to it on the radio, um, and yeah, I fell in love with Liverpool and became obsessed with them, you know, for, for a long time. Um, what, what did you say? That was 70, 77. Was that uh, Daglish? Daglish? Seventy seventy seven was the uh, so. The, the, over the space of three days, they they played in the FA Cup final against United, and they lost two one. Um, Jimmy Case scored for Liverpool, and um, who, who got the winner for? It was a real scruffy goal. It was like Lou Macari hit it off Jimmy Greenoff or something, and it, and it kind of it was just a really weird goal, or vice versa. Um, but I always remember, I wasn't supporting Liverpool when I was watching. I was just kind of watching the game, and I didn't really know. 
I didn't I didn't know much about either of the teams really. And then I felt really sorry for Liverpool. I felt really sorry for him for some reason. <laughs> and then the three days later, four days later, they played Bruce Munch and Gladbach in Rome in the uh, European Cup final and they beat him three one and then that that was really it. That was that was the night really. So yeah. Uh-huh. Um that that kind of kind of yeah, it was um just really the, that was that was the moment that got me really. I got like I'm from Lancaster, um, so we have Lancaster City, the Dollies, sort of Dollies. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I sort of got Everton. My dad just said, "Like we're Everton fans." I was like, "Yeah." And then so life was good in the eighties, Venice, and then yeah, depressing since. <laughs> yeah. Well, my my wife, she she's um she's a big Everton fan. Her dad was Aww. a season ticket holder. I used to take her to to Goodison, so all all Kate's family are. They're all season. They're all a couple, couple of them are still season ticket holders. They're all massive Everton fans. So, um, I'm the only, I'm the only one. My brother-in-law actually, he's he's from he's from Ireland, but he's a he's sort of sports Rangers and Liverpool, and just sort of flits flits between whenever whenever one one of them's doing well. He's probably a Liverpool fan at the minute. Actually, Rangers are doing well, aren't they? Um, but uh, yeah, so um, he's got golf on the winner there, hasn't he? But um. I, I do, you know, I'm not like because uh, I'm not, I'm because I'm not from Liverpool, mm. so I don't have the kind of that civic. I don't have that. Mm. I could say I do, oh, I, Everton and all that, and but I don't have that civic rivalry. It's like oh. I understand the, 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 you know, the the Manchester Liverpool. I, I get, I, 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 but I don't, I don't feel it in the in the way that people who are from the area feel it because you know I'm not from. There. I don't have that. I don't have that civic rivalry. But um, so I don't. You know, I I don't want to see Everton go down, even though I'm, I'm a Liverpool fan. And you know, it's just I don't know. I'm a bit I'm a bit different in terms of that kind of stuff. I like want people to do well, and I obviously know Daichi, and um, I'd like him to you know keep him up. And I don't want to see anyone go down. People are people say, oh, who, who, who's going to go down? Who's going to go down? I'm like, I'm not answering that. I, mean, I don't want to. I think Peter. Like, there you go. There's the pass. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I think deep down. Um, if there's say, like say Liverpool are playing a certain team, i.e. Manchester United, <laughs> you, know, you want you want Liverpool to batter them or whatever. And I think it's the same the other way as well. And I think obviously you know it's not a football podcast. Not a football. We always get into the football. <laughs> it's but I think I think there's good. There's a lot more given the stuff that's happened through the years. You know, with yeah. regards to that sort of community cohesion and. Um, the things that have happened that have brought the community together, i.e. your Liverpool fans and your Everton fans have come together yeah. as, as sort of one city yeah. to, to put to plough through some of that stuff. But so you Yeah. <laughs> Let's, yeah. Let's move on through the football. But um I'll st- I'll steer away from it. Uh, no, it's not right. If you do want to go over there, mate. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, 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 we can we can, you know, drop back into the football stuff. But yeah. where did your where did your sort of struggles start to begin? Because I know this was when you were in, you were in school, wasn't it? Yeah. So, um, so I'd grown up in, um, you know, very loving house. Um, Mum and dad had met in um, psychiatric hospital in in York. So, at the time, you didn't really think much about it because you're a young kid and you, you're not really. You don't really question. It's just you know you don't question your reality there you, unless someone points it out to you. Um, so I was I was staying with my auntie a lot um, in in the in the village, the next village, um, because my mum was in hospital or my dad was in hospital, and this, this seemed to kind of flip flop a little bit. Um, so I was sort of, and as I got a little bit older, I realised you know that my dad was. He, he struggled with, um, he just struggled with like responsibilities and, and, and that, you know, and, and uh, you know, you'd see it would be anxiety now, you know, but at the time it was, it was, um, you know, the, the terminology that was used at the time was very different, um, and a lot more kind of scathing. And, um, so he, 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 he struggled and, um, Concurrently, you know, my mum, my mum struggled due to, due to the sort of the situation. So um, it was generally, um, my dad was he was very he was he was 
very routine um, individual. He'd he go work, you know. He was he's quite lived quite a simple life. He'd go to work, he'd come back. We worked for the Yorkshire Water Authority, and um, used to um, make sure all the, uh, the 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 sea cuts. You know what a sea cut is? So it's no. like the it's basically like a tributary, like a river that runs to the sea. Um, and round Scarborough, there's a lot of these around the um, surrounding villages. And he he was part of the team that maintained those. Um, the, if you if you look now, you see a lot of them have kind of gone into disrepair. Um, mm. Not because he's died, but you know, obviously, <laughs> you know, he, did, he, he wasn't. He wasn't doing them all, you know. But you know, um, it's, 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 it was a, you know, that was his role. And uh, anyway, he um, so he did that, and he, you know, he, he enjoyed it, I think. And he uh, he'd come back, and he'd come home from work, and he'd go out, and he'd, he'd have a few pints, and he'd, and, and that was his. And then he would, um, that would be his kind of, that would be his. Um, his life really, you know, pretty much. Um, and I didn't really spend a massive amount of time, you know, with him doing things like he, he, he liked cricket. Uh, I played, I played a lot of cricket as a kid and football. He wasn't really into footy. Um, but he, 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 he was struggling, you know, and he, he, and he kind of continued to struggle, um, to the point where he, uh, he, he went, he was going back into hospital, um, a little more regularly, um, and then it, and then I went away. My mum took me away to. Um, she she was really struggling. My sister was out in Australia. My sister said, "Come, you need to come out to Australia and and just come spend some time here, so you can just have a bit of a break." Which sounds a bit bad, really, but she was she was at her, her wit's end with with everything. I think so. He um so. Well, my mum took me, so she took me out of school. Um, so I was 16. She took me out of school just before my exams and took some work over and, you know, we did with fully with the intention to keep up with my studies and stuff. But, you know, it, was, it, it wasn't really going to, not because I didn't want to, just it was just, it wasn't practical. Um, so anyway, um, we came back about um, six six weeks Eight weeks later, and my dad would. Did, he was he hadn't been in hospital then. He 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 was in hospital. He came out and he was at home and uh, and then he um, he got taken back in. Um, and that was basically the last the last time that I saw him. So whilst he was in he was in there um, a few days after he'd gone in. I think it was a few days after. It was, certainly felt like it was within the week that um, that he took his own life, um, which. Uh, I would say it was a, it was a big shock, but it wasn't for me at the, at the time because I he'd sort of intimated that he, he was going to do something like that, and um, I've, I've since realised that I don't think that he was believed when pe- when he said to people, you know, I'm, you know, I've, I, what I'm, what he was intending to do, and it wasn't like he was making loads of threats to do it or anything like that, but. Um, he made it clear to me um, when he left to go to hospital that um, you know that would be probably the last time that he would he would see me. So um, yeah, and uh, and and then and then it's all quite surreal after after that. You know, my, it, 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 without without knowing it, I think probably I was. I'd, that at the process then had, had probably started um and it had probably started before that but within me um didn't didn't really like if you said how did you react I, I didn't really didn't really react I carried on pretty much as normal went to school suppressed so yeah yeah uh-huh. I think so, I think I think so yeah but I, it's really hard to say it's it's really hard to say because and I suppose no, no, no one, no one, no one's really spoke to me about it either. No one talked, pulled talk, you know, not school really talked to me apart from one of the teachers. Um, so I just kind of we just carried on. It wasn't like wasn't bothered. It was like yeah, it, this was this whole thing happened, but it, it we just um, you know we didn't really sit down as a as a 
I don't can't remember sitting down as a family and, and sitting down and talking about it and everyone was just sort of dealing with it in their own way and, and you know I've spoken to my sister who's a bit older than me she was a bit older at the time and um spoken to her since afterwards about it and um yeah and and, and I didn't I didn't didn't grieve I didn't didn't feel like I I wasn't I obviously was upset but I wasn't fit I wasn't showing that I was upset I wasn't you, do you know, so, so, sorry pal do you think you'd um if somebody had sat you down and said look this has happened would you have reacted differently or do you think it wouldn't have made a difference because of the I suppose like it back in like the 80s I'm assuming it's 80s now you yeah know, 86 yeah like you say at times I mean obviously but we're a lot more open these days, aren't we? You know, but back then, like you say, you just kind of it's like that stiff upper lip, wasn't it? It was like that, you know, um, you know, get on with it, lad, you know, carry on and, and stuff like that. And but then, you know, you're young and would you react yeah, to I, it, basically is, is what yeah, I, I don't I don't think that I don't think anyone ever said anything like that to me. No, I think I think that it was just the silence, it was because people didn't know what to say. Like even nowadays, when these things happen, people don't know what to say. So, although we have moved on a lot, so you can imagine people just didn't yeah, yeah. didn't talk to me about it. You know, you know, maybe when I yeah, we doing you all right? You know, just never no, we never pulled you and went. You want to talk about it? You know, how are you feeling? Oh, God, you know, it was just because of because of the circumstances, I suppose. It's different. I think it makes it hard to talk about if 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 somebody passes away from you know heart attack or cancer or something it's it's maybe it's it's, it's a it's maybe a, I don't know it, it's just because of the like the, the have... circumstances of it it's like people don't want to really yeah start asking you about that and 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 maybe being feeling the being nosy or. Yeah. Uh, you know about oh how did it happen and all that kind of stuff. They don't want to ask that. So and and I understand it now. I understand that. And at the time, I wasn't going. Why isn't anyone asking? I I, I wasn't walking around going, it's weird or anything. I, I I just literally was 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 carrying on. But I was just probably kind of sleepwalking a bit towards, um, you know the next the next few years and didn't you know struggle with my exams and I thought I was going to do pretty well and. I was, I mean, I, I was, I got absolutely paralytic like the day before my chemistry exam. And it's like, so it's just like, if you know me, it's, like, it's just, it's just not me at all. It would, it's like anything, any, like any, my big thing was that I never wanted to upset my mum. So anything that I would have done to upset my mum, I would have just gone out, you know, rule that out. And, but I don't know, I just, it was a day before and we were just, we were at fr our friends and we just started drinking and it was it's like well, exactly. odd. chemistry. It was, it was chemistry. before the day before my chemistry exam. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Kind of revision then, isn't it? Chemistry drinking. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. What are the uh, yeah? What's the chemical um, elements it. for uh, Chin Chinzano Bianco? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was it, it it was um yeah just just a but I remember. It, I seem to remember, was it the um, European? No, it was the World Cup. The World Cup is 86. 86. The World... Yeah. Anyway, I, 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 I'll make, sorry, I just, I'm I, just going to say yeah. something. Want to, I'll make you feel dead old. Right. That was the year I was born. Oh, was that's cute. <laughs> eh? oh, yeah. 37 yeah. years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, 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 if I look back now, I think, gosh, that was that was really out of character for me, something like that. And then, and then I went to, did me, um, did my O levels again at, at sixth form, and then I went to the A levels at sixth form, which I really enjoyed. Actually, I had a, had a really good time then. And then um, that uh, when I left sixth form, that's when I had a that's when I had a dip. Just that's, about when I, that, 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 yeah. that's when I struggled. I came I came out and um, of sixth form, and I I'd lost my um, like uh, structure. Uh, my structure, my structure had gone, you know, because I'd do my A levels. I got got my A levels. I was playing football for the team. I was, I was playing football for the county. You know, it was everything was, you know, got going well. And then I left, and I was like, don't know what, what I'm going to do here. You know, when I was going to have a year, then I was sad. I was going to have a year out. 
So I arranged to go to Australia in between finishing a sixth form and then going to Australia. That's when, that's when I really struggled. Um, I was kind of trying to find little bits of work here and there to do to, to, to fill the time. And, but I didn't, I wasn't enjoying them. I was just doing a bit of roofing and then I worked at a garden center and then I used to work at B and Q and I went to B and Q and, um, I did, they were setting up a new store in Grantham and it was out when I was there, actually I had a bit of like, a, a this, I, this, this lad was like really was kind of aggressive to me, like rude to me. And it, and it, for whatever reason, it just caught me at a bad moment and it, it just totally like not the wind out of my sails and it really had a big effect on me and it made me really anxious and I just wanted to I just wanted to kind of come home from that from that moment um which sounds a bit like oh come on you know but it was just I, I think my sometimes something like that just won't bother you and then other times it, you know I, I don't know I was just maybe in a, feeling a bit sensitive or whatever but it just really like rocks me came back and then um just well, that's when I went to the I went then I went, then I said I'm not going back and I went to then I went to work in this garden centre and I can remember being out in this garden centre and it was a really it, it was a day like today out here actually it was really wet and it was grey and it was horrible and I just felt dreadful I just felt dreadful inside and and then I just had a, another kind of it felt like a, a I don't know it was a panic attack it wasn't like a panic attack but it was it, my the anxiety had just rocketed 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 and started having started my brain started saying oh what what happens if about this if this happens what happens if this and i was like and when you're feeling good obviously they're just mm. a you don't have those thoughts and b you deal with them but it was like where's this where's this come from what is it what is it and then and then emotionally i react i reacted to it and 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 i was just yeah, and then it just it just sort of unraveled a bit from there, and and then the 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 crying the crying started, and the the, the sort of feeling of kind of helplessness, and probably thinking oh, I'm going to Australia, and I'm not, but I'm not right. I shouldn't be going, and um and the whole oh, thing sorry, kind Dennis. of how 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 long was that in between? So to this moment now, from when it happened, how how long is that? From 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 what? Sorry, from when? From when when your dad passed away to? No, that was okay. That that's that was about nerve getting on for four years, probably that. Yeah, how it, it's yeah. it's crazy, isn't it? How the sort of how we all react differently. It just shows how we all react differently. But the, the the thing was, and the, and the thing is still like you know, I I say that. I, I at the time I never went. Oh, it's because of that. I ne- I never thought it was because of that, or any- I never thought it was anything to do with anything that had happened. I just thought it was me, my makeup. And I look back at it and I think, yeah, it was. And then but other days I go, was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it, was it about that? Um, I'm starting to feel a little more um, open to the fact that things that happen to you do of an effect well I you know and obviously they, they do but I for me what, what I couldn't get my head around was I, didn't, I wasn't going oh I'm feeling I'm thinking about my dad or anything like that there was no there was no connection between yeah. that that incident and that incident you know it was it was something totally different it's like uh, your subconscious. Like, I talk about it all the time, don't I? I love it, the inside job stuff. And like your subconscious is, um, it protects you, doesn't it? And um, and you act out in certain ways that you're not even aware of that you act out. And what I learned was, and my point, I suppose, where I was going with that is when I was in Rio, I learned about um, a thing about core beliefs about yourself. So, so you go back to your first trauma, for instance. And so, like, mine was my dad leaving when I was, like, three, four years old. And it was kind of, I'm abandoned. And then you take that for your life, I'm abandoned. You keep, and you don't even know what you're saying, but subconsciously you're telling you this constantly. So I'm abandoned, I'm abandoned. And then I was undiagnosed ADHD in my whole life. Right? I know it didn't exist in the 80s, like, you know, the 80s. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it was. So 
I've created a core belief about myself that I'm a monster because I was always bad, naughty, smart, get out of class. Bang, smart, naughty, get out of class. So I, again, I've affirmed that I am a monster in my head. Um, and then there's, there's loads of other different core beliefs that I've sort of learned about myself from, from childhood, etc. And then what I learned in rehab was about looking back at that child and saying, look, it's, it's not all, it wasn't your fault. You know, you was young, what could you have done? It's about nurturing that inner child and bringing it up to your physical age, which is a, it's a lifelong process, right? And we'll always slip back to it, but this subconscious is just, until somebody shines a light within <laughs> that part of your mind, mm. then you can start to think, oh God, yeah. So you become aware of it and and, and, and wake up to your, rea your reactions. How are you acting out in certain situations? Because you don't know it's happening, right? And this subconscious, it's like it just, we're pretty, it's like a program. It's somehow programmed into your head like a computer and it's sort of like what you tell it, you put it in and all stuff like that. But, you know, it's just kind of, it's really interesting that, that we're listening to what you're saying there. And that's what makes me say that, if that makes any sense, like what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it was, it's just, an, an, and and it it's, it's still is, it's that, it's that, it's that uh, for me it wasn't like, and it hasn't been this. Oh yeah, I get it. I get, I, I get that. For me, it's just been, yeah, I, I, I do. You... I do think that probably had some that has that had something to do with it. Whether that was everything, but I, um, right. but I, I, I couldn't, I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with. All these the, the things that were going on, you know, in my head, and the dealing with all these emotions, it was, it was, but the, and the crying was, um, I'm, I'm, a, I, I am, I'm sure that that was a part of it, you know, that was coming out. Um, well, it's, it's just strange, isn't it? The, 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 the amount that you can cry, it's, it's, oh, yeah, it's like, yeah, but it's good when you do it, and it like, afterwards, like, it's not good, but it is good, you feel good, it's yeah. really way after. Mm. But yeah. I was just thinking there. So do you, so so thinking about back going back to sorry to come back to it. I I, can't, I do this, Fenners. <laughs> so, so going back to you know, sadly when your father passed away, um, and then nobody talking about it, nobody telling you about it, just carrying on about it. So during that period of time, would you think that possibly because you was getting it was like, you know, you was in a different world and no one was talking about it and it just happened to you. Did you, at that moment there, you'd have created some kind of thing to protect you or, uh, you know, a, a, man, a way to sort of keep yourself safe and, and you called mal maladaptive behaviours. So you then create, but you, won't, you won't even know, this is how clever the subconscious is, you don't even know you've done all that stuff. Mm. You'll have created some kind of behaviour there to protect yourself and that's the subconscious stuff there. You know what I mean? And then eventually it's like your brain's almost processed it in some way and then it started to come out later on, maybe. Mm. But, yeah, I, yeah I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's odd, like, what I remember. I remember the day of the funeral and all I was... In my head, all I was thinking about was um, what I was wearing. Mm. It's like, I'm wearing... I, I borrowed my sister's jacket. She had this, like, leather jacket. Um, And it was... It wasn't because I was like not bothered, but it was. It, but I, 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 I didn't feel like I wasn't. I wasn't. Um. Wasn't like devastated or really sad and, and really upset on the day. On the day, I, I just wasn't. I, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. And that's 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 been really hard. To... Is, that your, is that not your thinking brain and, and social sort of construct telling you that that's how you should feel, but really? You can only feel like you can feel right authentically. Yeah, and that's and that, but that's a problem, isn't it? Because often you you feel you feel um, you feel something because you're maybe think thinking about it, or you you like, or you feel that you should be feeling a different way about about things, and that and then if you're not, it's really difficult, and that's that's been a lot of my. That's been where a lot of my, of my struggles have been, and how I've tried not no sorry how I've not how I've tried how I've um oh not overcome it but fought it was by just going accepting accepting feelings and and letting them sort of wash over you because they're only temporary anyway and so 
by giving myself that bit of a break, this is just a you know feel like that you feel like that, and then tomorrow you might feel differently or you might feel the same. But either way, you know, there's really by by trying to overthink it, it's not it's not going to change it. It's going to make it worse. That's mm-hmm. why that's what I found. So I, I try to be just a bit more relaxed about stuff um, and be more proactive mm-hmm. about what I'm doing day to day to to stop to stop the overthinking and falling into that that trap and and, and patterns um Viral patterns image, emerging. Like, like I, I I think the older I'm getting and I'm not like well old but the older I'm getting the, the less the the more the anxiety is disappearing in some strange way which is nice because I mm. oh, anxiety is horrendous and but it's that spiral in it you it's got like a I used to call it I feel like I'm in the eternal whirlpool of doom or something and I can't get out of it. You know, yeah. I'm stuck in every time yeah. you think, oh, no. Get back in here, mate. And and it's yeah, it's just kinda it's I relate massively to what you're saying there in terms of yeah. that. I think it's just about things, noting, isn't it? No things. Things. Yeah, things think things that make you anxious because they are things that for example, like not having a job or you know, starting a job or for me having to go to go and do something and perform, things that make you anxious, then uh, they, they I don't see those as really affecting my mental health i just see those as they're they're part of my life that then and that's their part of everyone's life and in in times of a crisis i'm actually quite good i'm actually quite practical i'm not the most practical person but when things have happened where i've had to react and 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 take care of people and do stuff then i'm good you know because i feel like i think because i feel like i've got a purpose it it almost in a way it's like it makes me almost feel a bit better about myself, you know, that, that I'm doing something to help people. I suppose it's like the the, the CBT thing, isn't it? You know, the, for me, the, the, the stuff they're cooking and, and helping and, and doing is really weirdly beneficial for me. You just mention your um, chair. The stool, the three, the three-legged three stool, three yeah. yeah. Because obviously I um, mentioned that I was going to watch the interview that you've done with that other legend. Uh, Mr. Ray Winston. Yeah, what do you um, reckon? Amazing, amazing. Nice and it's filmed as well. All the way it's filmed. It, do you know what, boss? And because obviously I've met you before, I've an ISO, uh, and you know we've already had a sort of a, a chat face to face. But seeing, obviously, I've seen all the films he's been in, and he's like, Whoa. you know what I mean? He, he's always mm. been seen as like that sort of villain, if you like, in in, in the films that he's been in, and. To see him there, where it's sort of just open, raw, honest, sitting in a yeah. cafe, and the same, and the same with yourself, you know, just two that was, sitting that in was, a cafe. It was tough, boss. That was the the key thing with doing it, because I think there's people are talking about it a lot more, which is which is great. And but I do think what you've got to do is you've got to get into the nitty gritty of it like this. I think you've got to get into like the what you know? What happened? And what? What? And what did that actually feel like? And 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 what, really, let's let's really open up those, you know, the, uh, those sort of areas of where you don't you you allude to it. You see it all the time. Yeah, I really struggle with my mental health, and you know, and I and I got some help, and I, I chatted to someone. It's like, but that's great, and that you know, people as, as you do as much or as little as you as you can. But I think sitting there like. If if I'm, we're talking now, you know, we can be really honest and frank. Um, and to for for me to, to do those interviews, I said we don't want them to be interviews; we want them to be conversations, really. Yeah. So we we just we would just chat about. And and strangely, me and Ray had there was commonality, so I picked up on the commonality. So there was there were those threads. You know, he's got three daughters. Um, you know, he, he he's he's lost he's lost people. You know, he um he he struggled with that. Mm. You know, I, I don't really like using the term imposter syndrome, but he he struggled with that feeling that he, he didn't maybe belong in in those circles. Um, which which I, you know I have as well, and and um, but I don't. I think I think a lot of people do. I think a lot of people have that. Um, and and you know, it depends what they're doing in life and in the jobs. I mean, 
generally people don't like standing up in front of other people and, and talking and doing presentations and things like that. I don't know many people who really enjoy that. Um, I do. I certainly, <laughs> I I do. certainly, I'd certainly don't. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't yeah. stand up, Fennis. I don't want to talk about it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but when you when you interviewed when you interviewed me, Fennis, like I felt so comfortable there. I think because we'd had that chat beforehand as well. But when you interviewed me there. I just felt like I could just, you know, open, just open up yeah. and uh, and just talk. And that's I felt a like it quality, was, that's a beautiful oh, quality. It's amazing. Yeah. I, and to, yeah, and that was you making, yeah. because I've done that loads, but not in front of, you know, however, what was it, 150, 160 men, like every mm. single, you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's I, th- I think, I think the, th- the thing for me is like, if, if I'm talking about, me and and my experiences then i'm i'm really comfortable with it because i'm no one knows no one can pick you up on it or because it's like well no this isn't this is this is my story and this is this is me and and so if and it's when you start talking about other things because i'm not an expert in anything you know i'm not I'm, i'm not i've got an interest in lots lots of different things but you know if we start talking about a certain area i'd be like oh you know where are we going here with this and as long as unless it's unless it's the stuff that i love and i'm really passionate about but it's like my my interest in it my interest in football my interest in, in me that's why i don't shy it from the rooftops that i spot at liverpool because you're setting yourself up because you're like going well you know, you know people are like well you're not from liverpool and you don't go to the game so you call yourself a liverpool fan i said oh no i don't i don't call myself a liverpool fan i am a liverpool fan but i don't run around going yeah, you yeah. know, as I say, shine it from the rooftops because it's um, I support them in, in in my own way, um, and the same with everything. You know, it's um, everyone's got you know their personal kind of thing, and that's where I'm comfortable talking about this. It's when this, I have to the stuff do other things. That, wasn't it? Yeah, like the stuff before that, and um, I always I always feel that it's almost like you know that stuff we was mentioning there. It's like you. You've got a you've had a patch on for a long time that you've been like try to keep on, try to keep on. And eventually it just comes to a point where you think, do you know what? I'm gonna address this now and rip it off and feel that air on it and just absolutely take it in and sit with it. And it's like the hardest thing in the world and it'll make you cry, make you angry, it'll make you think you're delirious. But eventually it will heal back. And yeah. and it, and I suppose then it becomes a part of acceptance within yourself. Um, and, and and awareness and acceptance of, of yourself, and and then that's when the healing truly can begin, right? And then I'm all for that mirrored stuff, you know, what you think within, you see without, or something like that. Anyway, do you know how you feel inside <laughs> is, is kind of what you see outside. Like I look at, like the analogies where you know I, I want to see a yellow car, and then all of a sudden you'll see yellow cars. You see what you want to want to see, or what? You yeah, want yeah, to yeah. See. Manifesting and that, it, yeah. and I I firmly believe in that because. If I'm feeling good inside myself, most of the time that anyone I interact with, you get a pretty positive response. Yeah. You know, but if I'm feeling like piss off, excuse me, friends, get out of my way. <laughs> excuse me, friends again. But yeah, so I'd be like, you know, get out of my way, then people will get out of your way without me not even saying yeah. there's got to be something in that, right? There has to mm. interesting that you'd manifest like a yellow car though, isn't it? Yeah, I'd I don't know going, where that came from. I'd be like <laughs> Kind of a briefcase, like full of um, oh, money. Yeah, full of money. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you that? yeah. Can you, if you can, if if you could manifest one of those for me, I'll, I'll oh, tell yeah. you what, it made me very popular in this house. <laughs> um, I wanna, I, I wanna see if we can move it forward a little bit. So obviously, you went on to do your A levels and stuff in sixth form. Um, so what did you leave school with, qualifications wise? Um. Was it after me, steps? after me, after me, A level. So I, I, so I got, I ended up with like five, um, geez, like five O levels, two A levels, uh, English and art, um, and um, and a, what was it, um, some sort of leisure and tourism kind of um. <laughs> You're well, we that. What are you laughing at? Are you laughing at? I was going to say. I, I left school with like you can spell fudge with my yeah, yeah. CSEs, right? And then I, I ended up flagging into uni somehow after I come out of the army and got a two one in photography. I'm like, yeah, we need jazz on. Yeah, yeah. So I went, I went, 
so I went to um, so I had a year out, went to Australia for about eight months, and then started the following year at uh, St John's in York, uh, yeah. doing um, well PE and uh, English literature. It's a four year four year course, and uh, met met Kate, my wife, um, on like first. First couple of days, oh. um, and uh, yeah, did I, I loved it? It was great because I got to do, I got to play football twice twice a week, because um, that's really why I went to St John's because I was playing a game for um, for the county the previous year when I was still at sixth form, and I hadn't. Um, I hadn't applied to St John's in York, but they, there was uh, one of the, the guys who ran the football team was actually watching the game, and he pulled me over and he went, "Oh, what are you doing next year?" And I went, "Oh, I don't know. I've applied to, I think I'd applied to Leeds and Newcastle, and you know, I was never going to get in there." And he said, "Well, come to come to um, St John's next year. The football's brilliant. You know, it's, it's a great set up." And so I did, and I got in and. Uh, I loved it. I, I, you know, I played. I say we played Saturdays. We played Wednesdays. We trained. We'd go on away trips. Um, the social side of it was great. We used, to, you know, all the all the footy lads did the musical production. Uh, so we're all in like at the musical production society for the. We did Hello Dolly and um, wow. Guys and Dolls, and Amazing. joined a band. You know, just doing c- covers. We had a band called Sad Wednesdays. Nice. We just we just used to do like. You know, in indie covers and things, and we wrote a few of our own songs. Um, I was chairman of the sports associations, um, did did plays and things, and did do didn't do any nowhere near enough studying really. And that's that's in all seriousness, that's one regret that I didn't spend time reading and having that because you never get that time again to to sit in. You know, you uh-huh. you've been given this time to go and sit and learn, and I I got you know I'd, I'd end up with the two. And I was I was happy and um so but it was brilliant it was the greatest you know one of the, the greatest four years such a great you know I was in York and it wasn't too far from home two of my best mates were there and met a load of and every knew everyone knew everybody in in the university well the college so it was a really it was a very different um, experience to. You know, my daughter's at, at Birmingham at the moment and you know, she's in second year. And it's a very different experience now going to university. She's at a big university. We were at a small college, but it was uh, it was brilliant. Had such you a, had such university a such great time. Then, did you? That was, that was the university stage. So, was the, so that was yes. the, that was the same. Well, it was, called, it was called the University College of Ripon and York St. John. And it was part of Leeds affiliate to Leeds University but it wasn't like York University it was it was it was St John's College which is a it's, it's a great it's beautiful beautiful man. place like, yeah. I just love that thinking about that that sort of jokes I'm going to use artistic talk here yes John uh, <laughs> so that juxtaposition right yeah. sort of, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. acting and playing footy yeah. Yeah. I just love that I love that that that's crazy yeah. right? that's amazing yeah well I, I was I was I just was a bit funny because I Case, case, and says to me, "Oh, what you know? What happened to all your confidence and stuff?" You know, when I was that age, I was twenty-one. Actually, I just turned twenty-one when I went. And but you just would, you, you just yeah. do it. And, you know, you do, you just have a go at anything. You know, so you know, my, my mates had a a band, and they were really good. They had a band called Twelve Angry Men, and they did covers, but they'd written some of their own songs. And they were like, "Do you want to come and just like um, warm up for us and and you know like." support us at this gig this gig in New York. I was like, yeah. So I'm like I've just turned up and with my with guitar and I, and I'm playing for 45 minutes, just like singing, you know, Oasis, Lemonheads and, you know, what what all these uh, you know, R E M, whatever. Just and like there's not a part of me is going, Oh my God, <laughs> is this good? Is it is it going down well? What are they thinking? I'm like <laughs> I'm just, I was just doing it and not thinking, I was not thinking, oh, look at me, I'm great. I was just like doing it because I was enjoying doing it and not, uh, imagine getting me to do that now. Yeah. Imagine saying to go and go, go up to the red line and, and, and <laughs> bang out a 45 minute set on your acoustic guitar, <laughs> like where everyone's lobbing pint pots at you. <laughs> and, uh, but, hey, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's strange, isn't it? The confidence you have as, as um at that age and, and yeah. Um, was there was there actually twelve angry men in the band or like was it not twelve? No, 
It's, oh. it's, it's the name of a film. It's a, it's a, it's a very famous film. I don't say this. What film? I've never, I've never seen what, it. What, called 12 Angry Men? Yeah, yeah, it's about, uh, I, I, and I'm oh, gonna, <laughs> it's, it's, it's about, um, it's a trial, it's a, and it's the jury, it's about the jury and, and making okay. a decision. And, um, yeah. I should know who's in it, but it. I don't. That's it now, Fenners, we'll get that on. Yeah, we'll have to watch that. Hey, if you want to get on to films, I'll, I'll, that's, <laughs> be, we should do a, a spin off. Yeah, I, was just, yeah. I was just about to say, I, I think there's definitely a, a second episode. Dave's a, Dave's a musical, man. He likes I, musical. Love, I love a musical, mate. Um, oh, I dear, to... yeah. Oh, yeah, I love a musical. What's love your favourite musical? Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> it, at the moment, well, uh, a more recent one is obviously Hamilton. Um, I've not but, seen it. Yeah, it is. Really I, well. Lewis, I thought it was about Lewis Hamilton. Last oh. film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Uh, is that he, he wrote it, uh, and then obviously Lloyd Webber, Cats, Annie, no, Cats, Cats, the original production. Remember yeah. the one that come out on tape? <laughs> like uh, uh, John no. Mills, uh, <laughs> oh, he, he played uh, oh, Elaine Page. Elaine Page, yeah. Uh, um, Memories. Oh, my yeah, it's cl- absolute classic. Like Dick Van Dyke in that, is he? Dick Van Dyke was. What did he do? Singing in Mary the Poppins. Is that singing in the rain? No, he was thinking of Mary Poppins. No, What's right. his name? <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> when did when did you become involved with Soccer AM? And it, and if, it, if I've skipped middle, anywhere, we seem, uh, so we've done we've done sort of no 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 I know yeah, yeah but it, obviously you finish uni yeah and then is that straight into that or so. Is, so no, I so what I did is what I did I, again. I I've had this admin structure at, at college and found it really hard to leave and stuck around in York and bummed about and didn't really work and <laughs> um got bits and pieces. But and then started eventually got my finger out and started doing a bit of coaching. We'd all done our coaching badge when we were at, at St John's. Our pre it was called a prelim then. Um, did uh, did it on Sunday mornings at York City. So I did a bit of coaching at York City and a bit of coaching at Scarborough. Um, and then started, um, I went to America for uh, three summers, uh, oh, consecutive summers coaching out in the States, oh, which I loved. And, and I thought I would, I thought that would be something I'd like to do. Um, but I didn't want to didn't want to live in America at that point. And then I got a job for the PFA. Uh, this company based in Wigan had a franchise for the PFA. I used to go into Ooh. football clubs <laughs> and um, deliver GMVQs to the YTS players. Oh, man. <laughs> Did that for uh, about two and a half years, but it's just it wasn't really wasn't really what something else. But I wanted to be in football. I went to I decided to, I, I, I was applying for jobs. Uh, uh, Granada and Yorkshire TV and, and um, wherever. Apply to Sky, try and get work experience. No. Nothing doing, you know, because then you're writing letters because you know, there's no email or anything like that. You know, you were having to write letters and you sit and you wait and you don't hear anything back. It's pretty much nothing, not much has changed to be quite honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, uh, and then I decided I was, I applied to be a volunteer at Ellen Road at Euro 96. Oh, Ellen. wow. Do you remember that? Wow. Well, yeah, so Kate was Kate was um, she was living in Leeds at the time. She was teaching in um, uh, uh, Wakefield, and so I, I stayed at Kate's and I uh, I worked there as a volunteer in the media centre. Mm-hmm. And Tony Gubber was in there and all and all the reporters and commentators and I was like, that's great. I like this. You know, it's 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 quite exciting and and it's, it kind of it gave me a bit of inspiration to kick on with it and push forward and then. Um, Got got potentially offered a job with um, oh, what are they called? Um, Ones for you? No, you used to ring up club call. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Remember club call. So you'd ring up. You'd ring up for anyone who doesn't know club call is. You would ring up a phone line, and you'd have someone on the other end giving you team news and oh. there'd be interviews and things like that and. Very basic stuff. Sorry, go on. You hear me? And um, 
and they offered, they offered me a job, but I had I'd got a week's work experience that Sky sorted out. So I said, look, can I go and do this for the week just because I really want to do it? And my mates helped me to, you know, get in there. So I went and then that was it, really. So I, some Someone had lost their job at Sky, um, unfortunately, and they needed someone on Soccer AM. So they said to me, do you want to... Because I didn't... I, I knew about Soccer M, but I didn't go to work on Soccer M. I wanted to work on football. I wanted to work on live football. <laughs> um, so I was a bit like, yeah, I'll go and see him. And so I met Tim and he had a had a chat with me and I think he liked my jacket. And I had a decent, decent head of air then, you know, and he was like, from the north, he ain't got any friends. He'll spend all his time at work. So let's get him on board. <laughs> <laughs> and that was pretty... That was pretty much what happened. So, yeah, we we uh, you know we we um, it was great. I learned so much from him in a real short space of time. And I I, I did really you know no no all jokes aside, I spent so much time at work. It was a real baptism of fire. I didn't have any TV experience, but you didn't you didn't need TV experience. You just needed to know what what was required and what you had to do and how you fitted into that that. Mm-hmm. You know that that production, what you could do, come up with ideas, go the extra yard, and mm. get your, you know, kind of burrow your way in to um to the uh, into the establishment and and make yourself make yourself um, invaluable to, to to the team. You know, so it just got one. You just go above and beyond. You know, at that age and and. I was I was blown away. Like I was at Sky. I couldn't believe it. I mean, Sky was walking around going, "Oh God!" You know, it was it was it was it was like that. You know, and it, it always was like that. To be honest, mm-hmm. even to the end, I, I never took it for granted. I was always, "This is amazing. This is this is this is really I've really landed on my feet here." You know. So, um, but yeah, it was it was hard work, but it was it was it was brilliant. What uh, obviously what I didn't know when I first met you is that because obviously I just thought you were a, a a host, so that's the first time I really seen you. Yeah. Well, what people might not know is you worked on there for a long, 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 long time, didn't you? Yeah. So the first the first stint I did two stints. So the first stint was I think it was ten, maybe eleven years, and then I left Sky for a couple of years and then came back and did a, a couple of other shows prior to going back to Soccer AM. So probably in total getting on for around maybe 20. I keep, I keep, I think I've said in interviews and stuff, I was about 25 years that I was on Soccer yeah, AM. But I think it's, yeah, I don't, I, it's probably 20 in total. Um, but yes, so kind of doing every job all the way, all the way through from, you know, junior to 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 runner to a you know AP and um and then producer and then exec producer and presenter, which you know is 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 when I think when I stop and I look back, I think, gosh, that's it's pretty it's pretty cool. You know, I I, I got to do a lot of amazing stuff and um yeah, it was, it was it was just it was it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It was you know very it was hard work, but it's like not hard work compared to what most people in their life have got to do and um and uh, the feeling the feeling i used to get from doing it um on, on when you come off air on a saturday is 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 something that i've yet to you know recapture so that's what i'm that's what i'm after lads i'm getting it a little bit here yeah. tonight you know but uh... <laughs> yeah. well do you know do you know like i was going to say there like um I've, you, you so you've gone through that that's it 20 years away, I don't do time, fellas. Fellas, time is there to control us. I wish we could just do away with time. Just do seasons or something, man. You know, spring, summer. Um, but anyway, but yeah, I just think... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, where does it come from? Where does it come from? I don't know. <laughs> what did I just say then? I forgot what I said. Anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, so... Big fish, sort of fish, cardboard box, right? Yeah. Um, Going from that structure, then did you not have structure? Because I've noticed like a pattern there. It's like you've had structure, then so it's no structure. And is that something mm. that did that affect you? Like, you know, after that, 
when he left Sky. And you know what happened yeah. there? What happened? Yeah, in, in terms of what happened in terms of my structure, or yeah, you're right. Because again, we talk about this, the belonging and uh, and and, and uh, like you can't yeah. emulate that that mm. right after soccer AM. Like we, like we left the army. It was like Ugh. now what? Yeah. You know, nothing. No purpose. Yeah. The purpose is gone. The yeah. sense of identity is gone because it's always Dave in the army, Mike in the army, Fenner's Sky, Fenner's Soccer AM. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Lose it. Right? Yeah. It, it's it's hard. It, it's hard. Um, but I knew I, I I saw it. I saw it two three years ago. Mm. I called it, you know, and 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 I was like, this, you know, this is going to happen. I know it's going to happen. Um, but it it was it was hard just the way it happened, and and obviously you're not going on your terms, so you you feel you feel rejected. You feel a bit humiliated. You feel like you've not like it was your responsibility maybe so you just felt feel sorry for yourself for a little bit and then you kind of you miss it um and you wish you were still doing it and then one day you you don't one day you realize actually god i gave up a lot of my life for for that program and, and that and that company and I wouldn't change it for the world but there's a lot of other things that I, I might be doing you know I might I might and, and I want to have a go at providing I can still you know provide and and and, and have a have a, um, a good life you know so I've I, in a way I've, I've enjoyed this this time what one day I'll look back and go god all that time you had there after you'd finished, you know, if you could have just chilled out a bit and enjoyed it rather than chasing, chasing and thinking what was, you know, when am I next going to be working? Then probably would have, would have, would have enjoyed this time a little bit more. There is that. So there is that, that hangs over you when you're, yeah. you know, you, you're not, because everyone else says, oh, you'd be fine. You'd be right. You know, you did so great. And you'll be, you know, you'll, Still walk into jobs, and just, it's not the it's not the reality. And I, but I knew that. I knew I knew that was going to be the the case. I knew that was going to be the case. As I say, a couple of years ago, um, but I didn't. I didn't. I did you, you can't. It's very hard to prepare yourself for it when when it comes out of the blue, you know. Um, so, but it's it, again, you know, it's not compared to what a lot of people have. have got to put up with and, and and have got to do i'm really i'm really fortunate in, in in that sense that i can you know i can well no i'm not i, I am of the mind I, I am of the mindset that i i don't want to go and do stuff that i just, that i don't want to do you know and i, I realize that a lot of people have to have to do that and and I and there will come there will potentially come a point where I do have to go and do you know I have done things where you are like it's not like my number one thing that I want to do but I'm I'm gonna go and do it anyway and but I'm hoping that I flip between wanting the the structure of a full time job and everything that that brings but also not wanting to do that wanting to do a little bit here and a little bit there and work on that project and a bit of this and a bit of that because that's I feel like that. I feel like that makes me freer. Yeah. Um, it's probably not as, as financially. It's probably not not the the the, the best. But it it's it's nice to be at home and be you. be around. I see you, man. I'm the same. Like I I love having little little things to do. Like I like just gonna do that for a bit. Do that for a bit. I enjoy that because like I I totally get where you come from that freedom because it gives you variation. And do you know what like. So what will the people think, right? Yeah, and I, I'm, I, I'm completely the opposite. I, I've got into this like recently, and I keep saying I, build, I listen to like all sorts of audio books when I'm driving around, and I'm listening to one by Bob Proctor. Mate. And I think he's Bob Proctor, but anyway, I've listened to all sorts. But he says, um, you know, it, 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 no, it's none of your business. Like it's not, to me, it's none of my business what say Dave thinks of me. If that makes any sense, mm. and I just think. The more oh, I you should. Oh, you're oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah. But do, do you know what like, um, I, I just Yeah, yeah. Of, and the more I ponder that thought, I think, you know what, yeah, who gives a rubbish, tosh, whatever, <laughs> can be trying mm. to, um, you know, that, that people are 
what people think of me. I think, you know, it's none of my business. None of my business, you know, because everything's perception, right? So I just think, yeah, I just, I, 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 but anyway, I see you, man. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I want to, you know, I want to do, I want to do stuff that. You have I, I, your I, turn. I, 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 I want to, yeah. I do, I do, I do want to do stuff, but, yeah. but ultimately, sometimes you, you know, you can have a great idea, but you need you need people to help you to make it happen, and and you know, I can't. I'm you, 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 everyone, everyone needs everyone's got to pay the mortgage, haven't they? Everyone's got to, you know, all all those boring those boring things. You know, it's like everyone's got to do it, and so it's it's I can't, and then there comes a bit of that like if I'm not working, like. How long can I keep saying, "Oh, I'm, I've I've got an eye in the fire, and this could be happening"? And because I've sat in me, I've sat in meetings mm. since I finished, where or, or been on calls or emails with people, and they're going, "Yeah, um, we want you to do this, and we're going to give you this," and you're like, "Well, brilliant! That sounds fantastic!" And then like you chase them up next week, and they go, "Oh, yeah, the client they've changed their mind, and they don't want you now," and you're like, "Ah, oh. <laughs> it's." Oh, and really? it, 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 yeah. it, it happens it happens a lot you know and then so until stuff's over the line and you know mm. signed sealed and delivered and you know the money's the money's in you i'll yeah. tell you what that's a job in itself trying to chase people for money yeah exactly. like you don't you do you work and they like any chance you pay me uh-huh. is that not is that is that not part of the deal it's like <laughs> no, it's coming it's coming it's coming it's yeah yeah i mean it's like some big Mike and Dave run. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get you, you Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to just, yeah. I, I just throw, obviously, yeah, we're getting to the sort of, you know, the, the end now, but I want to just, me and Mike are talking about it before, and you probably, you know, talk about this a lot, but some of the people you've met doing the job you did, you know, doing the job you did and the job, obviously, yeah. you did, what's he learned mm. from? Like or unreal. Is there any sort of little bits that you've maybe you know took from them because you've met some really really like to your own, people, your, yeah, own yeah. Model, your own life, your own outlook, or your own being, if that makes sense, or, or yourself? I mean, what what do you lead by? What philosophy and from all your life experience, you know, what what what's what, what to this point now? What what is it that essence that that you have? It's 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 a it's a good question. I mean, what I, what I did, what I have found is that when you first start and you're young and you get in, you get into this, going into this world, as I said to you, you know, you go in Sky Sports and you know the lights and these famous people, and and then you, and I was, I was like, wow, this is amazing, and like, oh, this him and it's there and it's oh, and it, and very quickly that, you know that just you just see you know you you i still would be like you know when i met robbie fowler and and you know and noel and manny from the roses and <laughs> ray winston for the first time and all these people and he's hey, on, ray. God, it, 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 yeah yeah i mean <laughs> oh, oh, you know i mean i've like it's it's ridiculous, like that, you know. And, it's, and I sound like I drop names when I say, you know, I some don't. of the people that. Are, but I'm dropping yours, like, mate, after this. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you, but but sometimes you so, sometimes you don't. But what I have is like you know you 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 get to you know you interview Messi, right? But I can't speak I can't speak um, Spanish, and uh, his his um, his Yorkshire uh, dialect isn't <laughs> great either, but. Um, so you do it through an interpreter, but you know you you have you have some time with them. You know we played FIFA, and you know I let him I let him beat me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let him beat me. I let him beat me very heavily. Um, <laughs> but it was it, and so you you know you you do, and you have that little bit of a moment, and but and I did you know, I did something with Zidane, and he's sitting there with Zidane, and you're like, oh my god, and and but yeah. you 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 do, you're working, and you're doing it, and because you're not talking to them in, 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 in yeah 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 in, in, you're not talking in their language it's 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 slightly it's it's not quite the same you know you yeah, know you but um doing a bit of all level french with him you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> come and yeah. talk on super yeah. 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 John. Yeah. <laughs> but it is it's, it is and I, and, I, and you know i do and, and as i said you don't want to like 
drop names and stuff, but you have asked me. But so I did Pele. I met Pele in Amsterdam. I interviewed Pele. Um, and it was through um, MasterCard. And I always remember, so I'm sitting... I'm sitting doing it, and, and I can. There's this little American guy, and he was he was timing it. Yep, yeah, you got eight minutes. You got eight minutes. And he was like, and he was like, he was just stood behind him, and I was like, we you know we're chatting, I chatting away to Pele as as you, as you do, and uh, and he's just he, he just comes he comes around the back of Pele's head like that, and he's going, got three minutes. Three minutes. I, just, I go, oh, fucking hell, any chance, mate? You know what I mean? He's got, um, I know how long I've got. Uh, you know, helping, but uh, it was it was it was, it was mint, like and, yeah. So, but yeah, I'm not answering your question at all very well, well here. But um, no, no, you do, no I, I I don't. It's it's I've not come away with any. I've not come away thinking. Um, the, the people that I've still got. I tell you what. I, I tell you what. I'm proud not not proud of but i'm that i've managed to i would say pretty much everybody that i've met um or i relate good relate a relationship with i've still got i've still got that relationship with a bar bar a couple you know maybe a couple of people but um and still you know would still chat to them and and so not be not and then it's like oh i'm not just in touch with him because he was Mm. Robbie Fowler, who you know was an amazing striker. Yeah, he, initially he comes on the show, and that you are, but then you you know you have a you have a friendship. You know wow. you do. You know, and I would say he's a, he's a mate, and I, I, I would text him and message him. And there's a lot a lot of people. You know, um, Stephen Graham, like I mean, such a mint mint bloke, like such the one of the kindest, most loveliest people, one of the biggest biggest stars well, uh, in, in, where in the is world. You, and, cousin? His cousin, I used to work with his cousin Joey, and he's coming on the right. Podcast. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's 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 just he's just brilliant, and and you know would would help you out. Generally nice. A lot of them are. A lot of people. A lot of them are. A lot of them are Assuming. brilliant. A lot of people that I've met, um, and you find that that sometimes the bigger the bigger ones are actually the 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 well, the better ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because they just kind of. They've got a bit of a, they've got a bit of a handle on it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think Fen is that um, you and I are friends because we've got very similar beards. When I grow mine a bit longer, <laughs> I get this bit in the middle too. I get that bit. Well, see that bit there. It's wonderful. Yeah, that's yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wisdom, wisdom, Michael. I've never been able to. I've <laughs> never been able to grow anything properly. I, I, I sit down a bit, but um, yeah, it's hair transplant next. Um, could be, yeah, could be beard twins, Fen is technically. <laughs> yeah. I think my I, I, I my ass actually it's all it looks all right on it. I used to have, well, I'll tell you what mine mine did. Yeah, it's, but some days like like if I if you got me if you got me in the wrong light here you'd right. see that I'm not actually that yeah. far off that so and I don't think I've got the face to, for a I don't think I've got the face oh, for it. That's quite a problem. Cool, man. I I don't work on that. Just pull it back into a ponytail. Look a bit like um what's his name off Breaking Bad. Ah, oh, then who? Hank? No, not Hank. That's me, Hank. All right, sorry, go on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's ponytail. No, no. Not a ponytail. Oh, Walter White? Yeah. No, you do look a bit like Walter White, by the way. Maybe. I'm re-watching re that. <laughs> but like Jimmy White. <laughs> Jimmy White, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I want to know uh, what's next. What's next for Fenners? Well, that's a great question, mate. Um, that's so, professionally, personally, whatever. Yeah, anything. Well, professionally, um, Stuff. I'm doing a podcast. Me and Jimmy, Jimmy Bullard are going to do a podcast. Oh, oh do you need that. a guest? Do you need some guests, guest, please? Like Dave. We're all right. We're all right for the first. Four years. series. <laughs> I mean, not four years. But, <laughs> but um, I will give you a shout. So we're we're um, we've done a pilot and it was good and it was great. We you know we get on well and we have a good laugh and again it comes down to that kind of authenticity. He's like just he's oh. just exactly what you know you get on tin and he's brilliant and he's just such a energy to him that he's he's great you know and. 
So I'll just I'll just kind of sit there and let him let him go and uh, we should have a bit of fun with it. It's, it's nice because on soccer and we never get a chance to elaborate. You never get a chance to go into detail with things like like this. Yeah. You, everything's a everything's you, you want to say. You've got to have that conversation in seven minutes, eight minutes max, and you've got two or three people who all want who want to speak and it's it's hard and you've got someone in your ear. Whereas we can just sit and chat about whatever we want. On your turn, it's, yeah. it's on your nice, turn. yeah. It's nice, just sort of that freedom to sort of explore things that you know we didn't get a chance to do, and it's a good format. I'm not, I can't tell you what it is because I'm oh yeah, I'm it's all right. secrecy, but um, hey, Dennis, it's going to be good, yeah. Can we come and see how, how it's done? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want I want to come and see see you to see how it's done. You want you want to come and see well, we us to see how it's done. How it's done. <laughs> uh, like, give us give us a, give us a few episodes. And let us know what you think. But uh, I'm I, looking I, forward I, to it. I will I will be downloading every single episode. Absolutely. I can't wait to hear that. Because yeah. I love Jimmy Bollard as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we can't share it now because we could get it out, but obviously yeah. can't. But anyway. Yeah, as soon as it comes soon. out, we will uh, we will make sure we share it on to our yeah. listeners as well. Yeah. Um and um yeah, can't wait, can't wait to hear yeah. it. But, and it's uh, aside from that, yeah, I mean potentially some other bits and pieces. Yeah. Um it's uh, it's taken a while, but yeah, I'm hoping by the end of as we get toward you know the Euros, there might be some yeah. some things on the on the horizon. And uh, I've got um I've got a project called Life Jacket, which is I think I've probably told you about. It was it's like a it's uh, I, I like clothes and menswear and um Ooh. so it's it's uh it's and it's, it's, a, it's a it's a platform for people to come on and, and uh, to talk and, and I'm going to make content. I'm not explaining it very well. I'll tell you what it is. It's, <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to go into it now, and I, but it's called Life Jacket. <laughs> it's going to be, if you like clothes, if you like jackets and you like trainers, and you like clothes and you like to talk about those things and you want to come out to events and see people talking about those things and maybe down the line, you might be able to buy some product. Oh, yeah. Oh, so like me and Dave want to do merch. Yeah, we want to do. We merch. want to do merch. It's not merch, mate. It's not merch. This is all right. Like, this is end. yeah. It's not merch, it? mate. By the way, hey, have you not seen our logo? You should have seen. Phoenix, you should have seen what he interviewed me in the jacket. With... What? No, I'm, not, I'm not. You know, banging out t-shirts in the foyer. It's like you know. <laughs> you're gonna... I think he's sure that by one. He's yeah. talking about yeah. collaborating with like um, yeah. this and yeah, yeah. we're uh, we're going. It's it's it level good. aspirational. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how long going you? It's well good. Ours are two for sixteen quid. Ben it's been an absolute like there's definitely there's definitely a, a second. Part two, we need a part two, lads. Oh, definitely a part two that. because there's just there's just so much that um, can be talked about it, and I think yeah. you know we we all got on we all got on great. Obviously, this has been the first the first video one. I think it's obviously you know it's good, it's gone well. I think it's gone well. Dave's couch here. Yeah, so, yeah. I've enjoyed it. I've yeah, enjoyed no. it. I, I love doing I love doing these. It's great. I just <laughs> talk and it's great. No one's telling me to show up, and <laughs> I'm sure they will do at some point. But it's nice. It's it's it's. I feel so, like man, I, can, I feel like I'm in my sound. You're going three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey Tony, come on, <laughs> wind them up, Dave. Come on, Dave, wind them up. I gotta get Pele home. We gotta get Pele out of the building, man. <laughs> oh, it's boss. I, and and as, as you mentioned there, and I think it's you know what we spoke about at the beginning is with the podcast and what we're trying to create is something that is raw, something that is authentic, something that is just natural. And, and like you say, there, there's nobody. There's nobody snapping the fingers, or there's nobody in your ear telling you to bloody shut up or Dave, hurry up. Or... I've got my I've got my alter ego called Hank Fennis. He's in there all the time. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike's got his Mike's got his alter ego, Hank, who just comes out of nowhere. Maybe we'll maybe meet him in episode two, lads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's a fun guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what I what I did want to mention on this one uh, on this episode is. Uh, we've we've got a couple of subscribers now, haven't oh, we? Have subscribers on money yeah, so we're starting thirteen pound a month recurring revenue. <laughs> That's brilliant. But 
<laughs> but I, I think what, what we want to try and get across to people is we're not doing it to, to line our own pockets. It's it's not about it's not about making um you know money and just going, right, we're gonna put it in our pockets. Obviously, yeah, we're gonna use some of the money to continue to do what we do with regards to the interviews and, and places we use and stuff like that and equipment. But what we want to do is we want to have a choice charity each sort of every six months or whatever where we where we choose a charity to donate uh, money to so they can, continue, can continue to do life-changing and life-saving work in the community. So that's what that's what the aim is. That's what the idea is. So if people do want to, they can go onto our website and go to the support page and you can do as little as $3 a month to, I think it's $25 a month or I think it could be could be anything but yeah so if you, if you do want to if you do want to support us please what are you going to say now <laughs> hank has just come hank out is of it no i was thinking end. yeah but this month there's bought tea tonight so he wants a tenner back <laughs> <laughs> i'm just interested the way you like you've you suddenly started like talking about dollars like am i am i missing something here right? oh so the, the website <laughs> the website we use it is must it just be an american it must just be an Bus, american Bus sprout. Bus sprout, it's called but in, okay. in the support part, it says it's in dollars. So, but it's 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 a great yeah, little website. Like to water here, come on. So I don't. I, I obviously don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Hey Tony. <laughs> hey. Like long as lads, long as you're not paying me in dollars, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you got three, you got yeah. three dollars left, mate. After his paper, thing. <laughs> send it down. <laughs> um, obviously, yeah, you probably you're probably gonna have a team around you when you're doing your uh, when you're doing your podcast with Jimmy or whatever. But it's a great little website. To be fair, it's, it's done yeah. everything for us, hasn't it? Like, what's it called again? Buzzsprout. It's called like Brussels Buzzsprout. Sprout, but Buzzsprout. Okay. Yeah. It's just a platform to upload the podcast, and then it pushes it out to the likes of Spotify, YouTube, and all stuff like that. So, um, yeah, thank you so much. We want to say a big, massive thank you to our um, continued sponsor, Rock Old Scaffolding. We're not in Rock Old HQ, as we no, normally would be. Dave's living room. We're in my living room. <laughs> <laughs> um, Keeping uh, it real, man, on the couch. And we've been joined by the absolute legend that is Benners. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. For giving up your evening and you know, getting to this point where we are now. Um, thank you for opening up. Thank you for being so open and honest. It's just been absolutely amazing. I'm so glad, you know, because it's like being around circle. So you interviewed me a couple of months ago or a few months ago, and now we've been able to interview well, I'm, you. I'm just happy to be here. It's a lot easier being interviewed. It's, it's a lot it's a lot uh, it's a lot less stressful but thanks thanks for having me lads I really really enjoyed it and uh, if you if you want to do it again uh, I'm here and um, all power to you for, for you know doing something that's uh, massively important and you know keep keep doing it and sorry keeping doing it rather than you know just kind of because um, I think there's a there's a there's a danger of yeah. fatigue fatigue with it like people are like oh everyone's talking about mental health and no you got to keep doing it you got to keep doing it and you got to keep having the right conversations and and you know peeling away at the onion as i i like to say and and um and getting and getting into the nitty gritty of it because when you have real conversations it i think it really does it makes a lot of difference to a lot of people who um who are struggling and um they maybe don't have have a voice so Oh, power to you, lads. Thank you very much, mate. I think it's perfect. Uh, we have this uh, here we go. <laughs> so that we have it, we have a little bit of a sign off. Um, professional, we're professional. Are we going to be professional? We've got a celebrity on. We're, all right. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be uh, we're, we're going to be professional. So we have we have a little bit of a sign off, Benners. Okay. And, uh, this is our little sort of slogan, if you like, for the for the, the podcast. So um all, what, got, well, what, all you need to remember, if you can, Fenners, just if you can, obviously you're going to remember it. Don't do many lines. Where's my yeah, me yeah. cue? Oh, it's, yeah. One. So, <laughs> one line you've got, and it's strength. <laughs> so, that's I'm going to say... Not, that's, say a, that's a word. That's not a line, that's a word. So, I'm going to say something, then Mike's going to say something, and if you could just finish off with strength, that would be absolutely amazing. 
Um, so thank you, everyone. I, I'm like looking around as if we're on. I, I normally, I'm, I'm so used to I'm having a mic. I'm made up. But uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, tuning in. This will be the first one, uh, the, the first proper episode that's going out onto YouTube as well. So please, um, you know, share, repost, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Thank you very much. So um, everybody remember that. <laughs> what is it? Oh, come on, man. Wait, there, wait, there, wait, there, wait, there. We argue every week. We've got anyway, it. We've got remember it. that. Remember that. Every struggle leads to strength. Yes, Fenez. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, hopefully see you soon, mate. Appreciate it. Big love, lads. Keep it going. And uh, yeah, let's do round two soon. Oh, 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 don't end it. Don't Why? End it. Whoa, what? 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 Don't you mean don't end it? No, because it normally says it normally says stop recording. <laughs> it's still, oh yeah, here we go. Oh, here we go.